How the devil are you guys? Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins with William here. Yes, it's me, Rabidon, and we are in Soldier's Peak. Yes, we're in the DLC portion of the game. Now, mostly because I wanted somewhere to store my stuff, and mostly because William was uh, curious about a Grey Warden base and anything here that uh, might help in the fight against the Darkspawn. And anyone watching at the end of the last episode will realise, or should I say, during the last episode will realise, I seem to be doing a lot better now that I've actually put my abilities on the bar instead of just using one of them. These two abilities here were not on the bar, so I was kind of limiting my uh, attacking potential. And I seem to have been doing a lot better since uh, William stepped up to the plate, <laughs> as the phrase goes. So... Let's give Win her level up. What shall we give her? More magic for for the sake of it. Yeah, more magic. Ooh, okay, mastery. A permanent bonus to spell power. Sounds interesting. Oh, what else have we got? Creation, heal. She already got heal, hasn't she? And regenerate. Where's group heal? That's spirit here. Group heal. Revival. Life ward. Requires level 12. Okay. So, yeah, we need that eventually, and it needs to go on Alistair, doesn't it? Let's face it. Alistair, all the damn time. Now, I'm thinking Earthquake. I'm thinking Earthquake simply because uh, area of effect, isn't it? And, um,. When we see a big group, quickly pause combat, hit Earthquake, and give them all a load of damage before they even get close to us. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm thinking. Chances are, it's not going to happen. Right. In that case, what spells should she have on here? That is their skills. I want spells. Uh-huh. Rock armor's uh, earthquake, earthquake. What should I take for earthquake? See, that's good for it. That's lyrium and lesser lyrium potion. See, they're, they're handed to have. Let's take a herbalism off because let's face it, it's not her strong suit. Morrigan is the. I mean, she's got the same level of herbalism as the main character, William, so Wind doesn't really need that. She can be banging out the earthquake instead. And don't be making that rude. I know someone's out there going, oh, you're banging out the earthquake. Oh. So, to, yes. Let's continue with the quest to find out what oh, what's happening or what happened back in the past at Soldier's Peak. So, second floor. Anything? No, let's go. You guys just don't get trapped. Nice picture. Wh who is lighting all the fires? Okay, that's not ominous in the slightest. Win. You're the mage. What do you think? Nothing is showing up. Oh, there's a vase over there. Oh, no. Make them pay for every inch, men. Right. So they got in. We know that anyway. We've seen the broken barricades. Avanas, we need you. Okay. All right. Okay. Summoning demons. What? Not a good sign. Whatever it takes. Are we talking blood magic here now? Press them. Oh Press them now. No, I command you fight the king's men. Hmm. So much death. Suffering and oh yes, blood. 
The veil is torn now. Your soul is mine, Avernus. Acolytes, retreat now. The battle is lost. Okay. Avernus! What just happened? Oh no, more fighting. Yeah, we'll answer the question afterwards. Rage Demon, Dead Warden, Dead Warden, Dead Warden. Let's deal with this guy in the middle, everyone. Don't know if that's the way to go. But let's deal with him. Okay, he's being healed. Right, the rest of you, stick to him. You get over there. Right, now, get over there. The rest of you stick on him. I shall deal with these. Kill it. Kill it. And another. And right. In theory, can we actually kill it now? Yes, we can. In the back. Get in there. Oh yes. Keep killing him from behind while he's busy with Alistair. That just sounds so wrong. Oh, they're back. They are back. Means we're gonna have to do it again, doesn't it? Right, kill them. Okay, fireball, not a good thing. Get out of there, deal with these, stop them from healing him too much. Did I heal or not then? Win. Do me a favour. I'm on fire, that's what it is. Right. They are following me. Yeah, they're still following me. Right, that one's dead. Right. So, ouch, just set fire to me now. Right, get that one taken care of. In fact, with that, do it quicker. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. Not a good sign. Win. Oop, bloody hell, wrong thing. Win, wake me up. Wake me up, Win, because someone's got to do the whole killing the guys over there. Uh, now my dog's down. That's not a good sign. Right. Yeah, let's just throw that at him when I get up. That's one down. Right. Take care of this one. You get out of the way, you go away. Right, that's that done. Wind needs more potent. There, get that down your neck. And heal everybody. Right, and can somebody. Yeah, win, can you? No, right. While she's busy doing that, I shall take care of this guy. And your turn. Now it's your turn. Right, another one down. Right, everybody, after him again. Are they going to respawn again? Can we get him killed before they respawn again? need to know is how close she's nowhere close to white waking the dog up. Okay. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Get in there and have it. Well, that was close. Demons. Yes they did. And my grand she knew. Hmm. Borders don't forbid blood magic. Anything it takes to win. I'm not uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Against the blight? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I some wardens might not forbid blood magic because wardens are conscripted from all walks of life. Thieves, vagabonds, you name it. However, I forbid blood magic, so... Look, mate. She pretty much was fighting for her life and made a bad decision. I believed that my family was better than that. But answers may lay up ahead. Yes, they may. Right. Well, that was fun. As you said. Rage Demon. Winter. Ooh. Tier 7 requires 36 magic. Uh, is Win anywhere close to that? I don't think she is, is she? Winter's Breath, or is she? Ooh. Enchanted Staff Steel, tier 3, tier 7. Hmm. Apparently she is. Okay, then let's put the old one on tier 2. There you go. Win. Have fun with a new staff. Why do we get the feeling these things are going to be uh, useful later? They've not gone away. The stuff going to attack us later? It is a bit uh, worrying, that, isn't it? And here's a mirror. What into? The fade? Let's go this way. What's behind? Door number five? Um, shambling corpse, shambling skeleton. Apparently stuff that hasn't noticed us yet. Oh, come off it, right. Yep, do that. Okay, because as it notices, her attack isn't affecting them. That's nice. Right, now fall over. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of a uh, glitch in the logic. Kill it. Kill it all with fire. And the rest. We're doing alright here. We're getting through harder fight than I expected now. Right, are we done again? Is it time to start looting? Oh, apparently not. Greater health poultice. Okay. There's a door over there. Raspberry jam. R raspberry jam. Okay. And... Area transition. Somehow I don't think that's going to let me through, is it? No, it's not. So there's a door and some raspberry jam. What does the raspberry jam have to say about itself? History of Soldier's Peak, Chapter 3. After Asterion's death, the rumours and theories became increasingly outlandish. One of the more ridiculous rumours told of Osteria's infatuation with an elven princess of law, whom he was trying to resurrect in a secret ritual chamber through the use of blood magic and the princess's favourite food, raspberry jam. Okay. Warden Commander Frieda Halwick launched a thorough investigation into Osterian's secret plans, but was unable to uncover any evidence that anything in Soldier's Peak had been changed. Commander Howick declared that the rumours about Osterian were a slight on his memory and that anyone found repeating them would be harshly punished. The stories were thus silenced. And apparently the sales of jam went through the roof. From the history of Grey Wardens in Ferelden, 
by Brother Genitivi, Chantry Scholar. Don't we have to go see Brother Genitivi for the Urna Sacred Ashes? Okay. That's stood up, that's lounging against the wall. And there's a door here that we can actually use. Let's see what's inside. More stuff. Okay, Sophia. Although I don't know that. William doesn't know who that is. Although he might recognise the shield from all the visions. It looks like Sophia. Hmm. Step no further. Mm, yes, my dog this knows better. Me. This one would speak with you. Hmm. Yeah. Why? Should I speak with you? Although I do like, I do like the third one. The barbarous matter than you, demon, die. Yeah, why should I speak with this you? This peak is mine. This one no, is it's the not. Dryden, Commander Sophia. <laughs> All these things. Grandmother, you have slain many of the demon ilk to get here. This one hmm. would propose a deal. Uh, okay. Is there any? I'm afraid your great grandmother's possessed. I think he's figured that out. Is there anything of the real Sophia left inside? This one you? has tasted her memories, seen her thoughts and hidden places, but she is food for this one. No more, no less. Yeah, and why should I trust a what demon? What is one woman child compared to your might? Strike me down if my terms offend. A fool this one would hmm. be to betray the warden. <sighs> Tell me about this deal then. The soldiers peak traps me. This one sees so many tantalizing places in the Dryden's memories. This one would see the world herself. For me to be free, hmm. into the old mage tower you go and destroy. In return, this one seals the veil. No more demons. No more enemies. Your peak would be safe. Just let this one go into the world. Okay. Well, I'm here on behalf of Levi. Tell you what, you tell me about Sophia Dryden first, and I might consider your deal. This one knows all, but will only talk after the tower lies broken. Yeah, and what exactly do you intend to do if I this free you? This one will roam. This one will see. This one will feed. But without me... You see, the first the two, yeah. The third one, not so much. More demons, more misery. You choose just one of my kind, or many. Hmm. And what am I destroying? The magics. All moving things. The very stone, if you have the power. Something inside keeps my kind locked away. Okay. So before I make yes. a deal. Alright. Ooh. What shall we do? Yeah. First seal the deal we're gonna try lying to her well, this is probably not gonna work my coercion skill is still not leveled up <laughs> first seal the veil then I'll do my part I promise <clears throat> wink wink this nudge and nudge the sweet stench of lies upon you you seek to betray this one really Hmm. Who shall I'll do your errand, but you go first. What she leaves first, or what? what? Hmm. Fine, yeah, let's go with that. Uh, maybe? I don't know. 
Yeah, fine. I'll do your errand. You go. F I'm not quite sure what that means, though. Fine. <sighs> I'll do your errand, but you go first. Your offer is accepted. Come, follow this one. Ah, oh, that's what it means. Get her to go through the, go to the tower first. Gossamer strands only stand between this world and home. Feel it. So deliciously weak here. So frail. The entire world should be as such. But this one will feed the veil. Make it strong. My brethren mm. will not make it easy. Are you ready? Okay, what are you going to be this doing? We'll sew the strands together, make lattice with pain, experience, and exquisite agony. And what's my Keep part the in this? Brethren away from me. Fine, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Right. I hope we can still betray it. Because. Let's face it, I intend not to let any demons into the world if I can help it. And if I back myself into an RP corner, damn it, I've been an imbecile. Right, next. Now I know she's in the, the body of your grandmother, but so you don't have to stand there looking at her like that. Whoa! I'll have less of that, please. Right, there's another. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Gotta be more. Right. I'll get this one. Lesser rage demon, eh? Just keep killing everything you can, boys and girls. Just keep killing everything you can. Pressing the wrong button. Can't stop in combat. I know that. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Rip. Stay on your feet. Now win. Are we good, boys and girls? Okay, let's steal what I can from that. Let's heal myself a bit. Win. Right. Get some Arthur. Mm. Is she fro- Oh, no wonder I can't uh, do anything. She's frozen in damn place. Okay. Wakey, wakey. Aha! I got both at the same time. They're sort of close to each other. Nice. <laughs> right, back on Desire Demon. Right, here we go. Kill the damn thing. I really need some. Uh, right. Should I? No, let's not bother with that sort of thing. What I need is something like that. On there. Come on. Running out of. Uh, I also need to give Witten some more Lyrium, don't I? Yeah, get that down, you. Yeah. Are you doing good enough? Down your neck. Thank you. Right. Everybody, keep fighting. Right. In the back. In the back. Keep. It. Oh, it's just turned around. Damn it! And success. Oh yes, this works much better with the uh, other stuff. Very well. Right. Well, the fade has been closed. Let's see whether betrayal is still on the cards. Because I don't particularly like the idea. Of letting demons roam free. Time. Your veil is strong. Now you go. Thank you. This one's bidding. All right, no more demons are going to come through. 
but they cannot sneak through like the thief at night. You rejoice. Good. This one laments. Yes, go. Fine. See you later. <laughs> right. Destroy all of Sophia's enemies in the tower. The demon possessing Sophia Dryden has mended the rip in the veil between Soldier's Peak and the Fade. In exchange for this service, you agree to kill all of her enemies in the nearby tower. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of agreed. I know she wouldn't let me pass the lie. That doesn't mean that I have to actually uh, go through with it, does it? As I, you say. Because for all I know, oh, there could be women and children in there. Well, yeah, that'll do. What did I break? Anything? And a book. Sophia Dryden's journal. Ooh, let's have a quick read of that. Uh, yeah, I say quick read. Twenty-first, <coughs> Luvi Vista, or whatever, Elu Vista. It is done. The nobles have thrown their lot in with Arland. Arland, the snot-nosed man-child. Arland, who did not walk till he was in his fifth year. Arland, who had to be proud of his nursemaid's breast not two years ago. <coughs> Pardon me. Also, it is whispered. She didn't really like him, I take the eye. Um, yeah. hmm. The turns and the owls believe him to be a simpleton and easily led. But I have seen something in the boy's eyes and it well the boy's eye and it terrifies me. Ten Malirius I watched the summer day processions from a room high in Fort Draken. The regent has me for treason when my only guilt is of being true to my country and my heart. My guard's tongue was easily loosened with a gift of a ruby ring, and I am told that the bands are fighting against my sentence. I shall pray, but not hope, that it will be anything but the gallows for me. To Ferventus. The, the draught was like bitter fire, but I survived. Weep for me, for I survived. Would they have had made a clean end for me? I should have died a lady. The greatest of the Drydens not lived to become this nothing, this monstrous nothing. So she doesn't really like being a warden. Mm. 19. Matrinialis. Enough, I shall waste no more time with wretched womanish lamentations. Death would have been easy, but fate saw fit to spare me, and I will seize upon this chance. The Grey Wardens are an army, and the Old commander is weak, a wisp of a man. I will inspire the wardens, and Arland will rule the day he spared my life. Okay, so she basically uh, had um, revenge issues against a bit of a git, by the sound of things. And now she's possessed by a demon that sort of has the same sort of issues. Okay. Whoa! Warden, skeleton, warden. This is not going to be fun, is it? Uh, oh yeah, I threw it before. Ah oh, well, fine, let's go! And your turn. Right, down there. And your turn. Your turn as well. It's him. Shall we done? Nice. It, yeah, right. Um right, who set the traps off? Surprised there wasn't more. Probably is. Probably got lucky and not stood on any. To Avernus Tower, okay. So this tower belonged to the mage we saw in one of the visions, Avernus. And what the hell is that? Is that some kind of globe or something? Right. Specializations offer new talents. Yay, they do. Okay. We're in a small little room with a wooden loot type guitar thing. Okay. Avernus Tower. Warden Corpse. 
Right, win. Get ready. Right, win. Your turn. Hit him with. Go on. Aha! Levi, what are you doing? <laughs> See, this is handy. Keeping them all at bay. And your turn. Now. Okay, they're going after win, are they? Put it. Focus on one of them. Get, them. get it down. They're trapping us in the doorway. Move, people, move. And your turn. Ow, gotta hurt. Alright. Anybody got anything worth taking? Warden Corpse. Greater Lyrian Potion. That'll be handy for you, Win. Apparently, there's nothing down there. Ability notes, alchemical concoction, and a concoction and a book. Right, okay. Avernus's notes. Well, okay. The taint allows us to sense the darkspawn. The longer we survive with the taint in our blood, the more potent it becomes. Unfortunately, this corruption will eventually overwhelm the warden. Over time, it devours both the mind and body, leaving nothing but what if the spread of the corruption could be stopped or contained in some way? What if the Warden could become more powerful without having that power kill him? How great would that power be? Would it be enough to stop the demons? Hmm. The joining ritual is crude. We take it into ourselves the blood of the darkspawn in the most obvious way. Most die from the corruption immediately. It is, after all, poison. There must be some way to refine the joining, isolate the true power that is found in darkspawn blood, and leave behind the evil that kills us. I can feel the corruption starting to take its toll on my body. I must not succumb. There is too much work to be done. Through my magic I've been able to slow its inevitable spread, but not stop it completely. I am starting to hear things even while awake. A voice more beautiful than any other that calls to me from the depths in my dreams. That's not it, from the depths. In my dreams I see the black city. And I am drawn towards it. There is something there, an answer to what this taint is. This taint that we share with the darkspawn. From the notes of Avernus. Okay. Alchemical concoction and ability notes. Okay, this appears to be old research of the Mage Avernus. They detail a series of experiments in terse clinical handwriting. Day 32. Continue. The subject is not responding to the stimuli. Testing the pain threshold has uncovered nothing. Only three subjects are left. Day 82. If only I could reproduce last night's extraordinary success. Electricity is only a catalyst. The blood is the key. Day 97. Energy and blood. Repeated applications have duplicated the results. I conjecture that success can be induced alchemically. But there are no more subjects left. If only I had one more, or a dozen, the things I could do. Okay. Interesting. So that leaves us with an alchemical concoction. This noxious potion appears to be the culmination of Avernus' horrific research. Continue. It promises to unlock the hidden potential of the tainted blood you drank during the joining. Oh. Um, drink the vial's contents, destroy the vial, leave the vial alone. Well, this is a problem. 